damn John. Look at his face. He knows. He knows that's not good. He's really given it everything he's got. Feel it for you, boy. Feel it for you. From the start of this video, I want to say categorically and upfront, I am not here to bash John Bon Jovi. Okay, John Bon Jovi has been. Well, I've been a fan of Bon Jovi since since the Runaway days. The first real band I saw, the first proper big live band I saw, was Bon Jovi when they were supporting Kiss on their first tour. And they were amazing. I saw them a year later on a second tour, and I've seen them subsequently after that as well. And they've been great. John's done some incredible stuff, some great performances, and he's... He's written some incredible songs over the years. So I'm not bashing. What I am going to do is I'm going to have a listen and analyse and see if we can figure out what's going on. Because, you know, at the end of the day, we know there's something up with his voice. And it's a crying shame. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a listen. We're going to have a think about what's going wrong, what he's doing, and what's causing the problems that he's got at the minute because let's face it we all know there's something not right with John Bon Jovi's voice and let's face it you wouldn't be watching this video either if you didn't think that was the case so let's have a look at a couple of videos I've got to be careful what I show here because obviously you know things get taken down I am doing it entirely for analytical and educational purposes if I can spot some things that are going to help other people then that's the point of the video not to bash John okay so this is Clips that are already up on YouTube. Here's a one from uh, St. Paul. M -m -m I don't know where, what m -m means, but this is April 3rd, 2022. And he's having a go at You Give Love a Bad Name. The title of this video really, really upsets me a bit because somebody's titled it John Bon Jovi Butchers You Give Love a Bad Name. I think John Bon Jovi is trying his damnedest to deliver the best he can in this performance. But let's have a look and see how he does. Right, he's about to sing. Here we go. Ooh. Right, straight away his pitch is off. Beginning of a song, okay, you can accept that, yeah, maybe he's just settling into it. But his pitch is off and he's singing so, so so gently he's not really phonating he's not really getting any enough resonance there to, to make a big sound he's, he's almost uh, just beyond that vocal fry kind of a of amount and i know it's the beginning of the show and he's probably thinking to himself i've got to get through like you know an hour and a half of this don't don't bash it which is is fair when you know when you're struggling but um it doesn't sound great and he's missing notes already He's way behind the beat as well, you know, whether he's struggling or just gently bringing those notes on, I don't know. But he's, he's pulling it way, way, way behind that beat. Right, second verse. He's just talking his way through this, really, isn't he? Yeah. And he's, he's singing, he's, he's no more than, he's, in fact, he's barely at talking volume, isn't it? Um, you know, angel smile on your lips. And that's about all he's doing, really. Luckily, he's got a band full of singers who can really help. And on the big chorusy bits, that's, that's what it needs. Let's have a look at another one. This is Bon Jovi in Charlotte. Who's Charlotte? See, again, he's just talking his way through. It's the same, same song, different night. He's doing, a, I've got to say, he's doing a little bit better on this one, but listen. See that, that, that loaded gun? The, the vowel's just not right. Loaded gun! Ah, ah. His throat's really closed at the back. 
you know and that's not healthy it's not a good way to produce a lot of sound and it and why is it he's always done that slightly closed throat in fact a very closed throat at times but it's not working there is it you know he needs to open that up okay here's the next bit So he's pulling behind the shot through the heart and he's just reaching to get that. And letting the crowd do it. Good move. Yod, uh, he's running out of breath there as well. Let's have a look at another one. All right, we're all right in the low register. Hooray! He's, he's, he's just dumping all his air straight away. It's all gone. And then he's having to take another breath to get the next line in. Whether he stopped playing guitar in there on purpose or whether he stopped doing it so that you can really concentrate on the vocal. You can see he's really given it everything he's got to control it and to get this to work. And that was just, just a mile off. That's, oh man. Again, very, very closed, very, very almost frogginess at the that hard palate, that uh, 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 straining to get it, but watch this. That just like it's like that. And it, it's it's like a pensioner trying to sing. I don't know what what he's done with his chords, what's happened there, but. That's just not an open throat. It's not a, a clear voice. It's not a resonant voice. And he's hanging on to that microphone for dear life, doing his damnedest to get through. Oh, man. Look at his face. Look at his face. He knows. He knows that's not good. He knows he's struggling. Man, John, feel it for you, boy. Feel it for you. Let's have a look at one more. This is horrible. This is one of dead or alive. He still did another place. He dumped all his air and then. I don't know where his placement is. He's always been quite pharyngeal and he's still trying to do that, but an open, a closed throat, pharyngeal, and he's just missing those notes. He's missing them. And he's trying to under sing so he can keep going. And that bit there. There's no consonants, there's no, there's nothing, I don't know, it's just pulling his face all over the place. Right, I'm going to pull up some, some older Bon Jovi footage where he was really, really delivering it because this, this song is done great. Have a, let's, let's have a look. Okay, here's a clip from what looks like the MTV Unplugged that they did back in, back in, back in the day. How clean it is and how, how he's just sitting on top of those notes. It's still that pharyngeal kind of thing going on and the throat's not open. It's not like a Paul Rogers open kind of sound, but he's still delivering it. The delivery is so much better and so free and, and easy and sitting on the note. You know, it's the, the, the later ones, he's reaching and wrenching for it. Here he's not, he's, he's just not. 
hear that that night just that's just where it should be the placement's above here and he's nailing it now he, he's just reaching for that and he can't do it and he's dropped the key a mile since then as well so this is where we're coming from this is how good it was and if you listen to the recorder version the original record oh man what a performance that is but what's going wrong why why is this happening let's have a look at some possibilities i mean you know it doesn't sound to me like it's it's nodes or anything like that on his voice because if it was nodes he'd sing then it would just fly off and and all sorts of bizarre things would happen um if if it was inflammation well usually with inflammation you get a a, a rough and a very leaky sound and you get to a certain point and it just stops and you get no sound at all but he's getting sound could be that but it's it doesn't seem to me like it's just overuse and singing too much that that week or those few days which would be the case you know if it was an inflammation thing or if it was just over singing it doesn't sound like that um as far as the stage setup's concerned we'll have a look at this there in front of the drums is a baffle now that's there to keep the the noise from the drums down and to keep it quiet okay but we can see he's not actually that close to the drums difficult to see he's not like he's a few meters away but at that kind of distance there's quite a drop in the volume and then look around him one two three four and there'll be another one there five monitors and a couple behind him as well now maybe that one's a video monitor i don't know um but that's a lot of monitoring and if you look around the band the band are on in ears there's no amps on stage they're all hidden away and tucked away or di'd somewhere so that will be a fairly quiet stage for all intents and purposes it's a big gig you know relatively speaking that's a quiet stage and he's got a lot of monitoring going on and he will have spent time that you know the guys that are doing the sound there they're going to be good so his monitors will be spot on i refuse to believe that night after night he's got a bad monitor mix i just can't happen at that kind of level so so that leaves us to to what what can be causing the problems well he's got that it sounds to me like it's it's just the chords themselves have started to atrophy and he clings onto that microphone and he's covering the head of the mic which doesn't help but it's like the the flexibility in in the vocal cords is starting to go like just like when you get to a certain age and your eyesight goes because your eyes can't quite move as much as they, as they used to because things get stiffer etc a similar thing can happen in your throat and in your voice if you don't use it again and again and all the time um listen to singers like uh glenn hughes who hasn't smoked or drank or done anything like that for years and every day he's doing his vocal lessons he's doing his warm-ups and glenn hughes's voice even though he's a lot older than john bon jovi is getting stronger and stronger and is amazing but listen to the john bon jovi thing and it's gone and it's it's so sad that it has but you know um it's documented that he smokes a bit quite a bit which is never good and has he worked on his voice is he singing every day is he doing his vocal lessons has he ever had lessons i don't know um listen to the way he sings he certainly doesn't sing like a trained singer he hasn't got that openness that big sound think of comparing to someone like paul rogers who's got a big broad sound that open throat thing he's not john bon jovi's always had that reedy hard palate closed throat kind of thing going on and early on in his career all those songs those big songs were pushing it and pushing it and pushing it and when you sing that hard that high for a long time night after night it's not good and the way he was getting those notes um a lot of the time was to to push chest up not to to go to his head voice and sit on top of them very early on he did you heard that example and it was great but there's lots of other examples of him pushing chest up to get those notes and that's not good so a combination of things really and can he get it back well maybe maybe it's going to be a lot of work because it's a long way to go but you know this could be the end of the road for bon jovi i don't know people are saying why is he doing this why is he taking money from people well at the end of the day you know 
a massive tour like that that sold months and even years ahead because a lot of this tour was was booked pre-COVID. Can you imagine the the the, the financial penalties if he pulls out? I think he's in a position where he's got to do this. He doesn't have any choice. If he doesn't do it, it's going to cost him millions, millions. So it's not a question of, of going out there and taking money from fans for a poor performance. It's like a, he's, he's in deep and he's got to get through it. He's got to get this tour done. Will we see another tour? If we do, I hope he's made some changes. Maybe it's time to, to let those old songs go. Maybe it's time to stop the stadium rock star thing and just to do something a little a little different, a little bit more, well, fitting with his age, dare I say it. You know, there's guys like Rod Stewart are still doing it. Rod Stewart was a real rocker in his year. Um, and now he's doing much more laid back stuff. He's done his jazz stuff and he's doing, doing a completely different style. And he's brought all the keys down and, it, you know, it's working for him and he's still going. Can John keep going like this? I don't know. Um, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. But, you know, please don't think I'm bashing John. I'm not. I'm a huge fan. And I'm absolutely gutted to see these kind of performances all over YouTube. Signing off with a heavy heart. I'll see you in the next one, okay?